Hey, I'm just Roscoe and we're back in Transport Fever 2 and it feels like it's been ages since I recorded this. But it is nice to be in a game that's working and is, is working fine because I've just been trying to record the series, uh, our City Skyline series. And since the DLC updates and obviously mods haven't caught up, it, it didn't go well. Uh, I may post uh, the video and just put, uh, when videos fail. <laughs> but what are we doing today? Well, let's first off, let's have a look at a few things. I think it was over here at our plastic plant. Stockport plastic plant has got, uh, machine plant has got so many machines sat there. So I'm thinking... You're taking the machines, right? Yeah, we're going to go manage vehicle. We're going to duplicate you. Perfect. So that puts another one on it. I might even put another, if I'm honest. We, how many do they... Wait, how many do they hold? Uh, you. 144. There's 600 sat there. Yep. I'm going to go manage vehicle. Let's do it. Let's do another one. Lovely. I'm going to put speed up a little bit. We've got also, also also on the same sort of area. We've got a lot of coal sat here. A lot. Um, who's coming in here? Coal is coming in here. You've only got one train. You take 144. There's 700 sat there. Okay, so if we just duplicate that. Twice? I, I feel like that's too much. It is only going from here to here. But it, it's just not moving quick enough. We're just... Rather than... We could have just went a massive train. We could at least get, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten carriages on there, I reckon. And it would have still have been able to turn around. Hmm... We'll keep an eye on it. If, if three trains clog it up, we'll just go for one huge train. <laughs> I feel like that's the way forward. I mean, we do get a lot of hold up here. What are you bringing in? Steel. You're coming to pick up steel. Well, there's steel and wood for you, sir. You oh, are. It's because you're sharing a platform. Hmm. That's... An issue. You aren't going to have to wait for that one. Could we? Could we not? Configure. Um, track. Standard track. Could we not put... This one in here? And then that tunnel can come onto this line? Is what I'm thinking. Can I get a platform all the way? I can. And we could double it up if necessary. We could do... I'm going to put that there just to remind me that we can if we need that option. Because we've got this tunnel coming through here, right? From there. It wouldn't take much to alter that. Are we using the right track? No, we're not. We want this track. Um, If I just sort of come around there like that... Lovely. And then we can take a second track off there. Perfect. And you can come out. That should work, right? I'm sure it should. Wait, 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 wait. Let's get rid of that. I feel like that's holding things up too much. Yes, our train's not going to be happy, but it will be. It will be eventually. Let's get rid of all that. Wait, if I click on it, hold shift. I can just drag, right? Yes, I can. That makes life so much easier with the tunnels. Okay. Let's see. How far do I need to go back? I'm going to say probably to about there. Then you can come down onto that line. Lovely. And you can come down onto that line. And we've probably saved ourselves... Well, I say saved ourselves a bit of money because we're only doing a small tunnel now, but it would have still... We still paid that money to get that tunnel in the first place, so... Yeah. These things happen. We learn as we go. Uh, you can go there, and then I want auto signal on. Yes, one way on. So if I do that, for example, you should auto signal. Which you did, which might mess up all the other auto signaling, but it's fine. 
And then there's only one going that way, right? So if I do that, you should auto signal back. Lovely. Now that train is not happy and that's understandable, but we can fix that. We go to terminals. Um, which train is it that's not happy? Oh, both of those. So purple needs to now go on terminal three, right? Yes. And pink. Oh, maybe it would be worth having another terminal in case they're both another platform in case they're both coming in. For the time being, we'll put it on terminal three. If they start holding each other up again, we can add that second platform. Platform four. I don't think they should get in each other's way. I think they should be fine because you're coming over here for wood, right? Yeah, and there's a lot of wood over here. 513. Well, we do have massive trains running that. So that should be fine. Okay, hopefully that sorts that out. Have we picked any of these machines up yet? No. Oh, are you one of our new ones? You might be. Train 81 might be one of our new ones. Or they might just be snagged up in anywhere. Depends where they came out of. Depends which hub. Again, you wait there a very long time. Hub machine T1. Where are you going then? Are all the new trains coming out? You haven't even left here yet. And you want to go all the way down this line. Uh, why? We could, ultimately, we could put a bypass through, but we don't need to bypass the station. You, you're just going to have to wait for your turn. Come on, out the way, you. What are you? Stonehouse Goods. Where's Stonehouse then? Where are you going? Oh, you're just coming backwards and forwards from here, picking up goods and taking them to the hub. Uh, again, there's not enough enough goods there to warrant upgrading you. So you just carry on plodding away. Is this the one that... No, yeah, hub machines. Right, that's going through. It's finally getting there. It's probably going to get stuck this end now. Getting out. Maybe. Is it? <laughs> yes. Yes. No, it's not. It's going. Okay, one's getting through. That's just going to take a little bit of time. That's fine. How are we looking money-wise? We're losing 45,000, is that? 45 million? Oh, that's a lot. What is going on with money? Hub Machine is now our highest loser, but that's fine because the two trains have just been sat, sat idle for a long time. That's understandable. I think both of them have got through now. And now you're stuck, right? You only want to go straight. Ah, what's going on? What's going on here? Where do you want to go? There's too many trains coming in and out. Yeah, you could carry on. I think this station here causes an issue, if I'm honest. Look at all that beautiful steel being taken down there. I love it. Love it so much. Right, Swindon has upgraded... Was it Swindon? I'm sure Swindon can take four things now. No, it said food at one point. Now it doesn't want food. Huh. But it can take three items. Which we're fulfilling none of them. Obviously, machines will get down to the hub eventually. They will. Maybe once we start fulfilling machines. Maybe we were and then there was that tail back and then... Don't know. Maybe once machines become more regular, that will fix it. I do like this loop we've got going though. I like the train coming in here and back out here. So it's only, it's not having to travel all the way back on itself. I think that's really, really nice. How are we doing passenger wise? Cause I do tend to ignore the passenger services. Do you know what? They're doing fine. They're doing absolutely fine. Are you making money? Yes, is it? Yeah, you are. 830,000. I'm not complaining. Normally, normally the passenger services don't make money. Not for me anyway, but 
it is making money. Are you making money, sir? Are you... Which are you? You are. Clearly, clearly I should be in the passenger service business. <laughs> so the trains finally made it in. I feel like just the, the sheer distance they're doing. Carrying 144 isn't enough. Wait, pause a minute. How many can we get on you? If we go one, two, so I reckon four there. Five, six, seven, maybe another eight. They've currently got 18. So if we go 26 carriages. If we go 26 carriages. Right, what's the... You're 80 miles an hour, but that doesn't make a difference, right? Because if I'm correct, the carriages only go 50. So we don't want... We haven't got any electric or diesel right now. We're not at that point yet. 50 miles an hour. 37. That does 62. Got a lot more power and tractive effort. But once it gets going, it should be fine. As long as it's got a clear run all the way through. I don't, I don't even know. That's got a lot more tractive effort. I might go with that one. It's a bit more expensive, but tractive effort and power and I just feel with the amount of carriages we're putting on it. So if I, if I do that, then we grab cargo and we go this one and we want 26, I said, didn't I? Okay. So that's 26 carriages. We're going to replace them. That's going to cost us 24 million. That is a big chunk of change. Obviously, this train's now inside itself. It will sort it. See? That we Yeah, that's about right. So now you can pick up 216. Which is a bit better. A bit better. We have changed the co-plant over here. We've added another platform just because we want these trains to carry on straight through. And, and they were getting a bit snarled up with three trains trying to get into that one platform. So now they've got an alternate platform, which I don't like. It is... Wait, there is track there in the middle, right? There is. It was just glitching out. Okay. Uh, which I don't like because it is on the opposite side. So I feel like the platform should be on the same side. But it's sort of for now, that's okay. Another issue I noticed is over at the hub. Now, I love the hub. Um, it's, it's, it's a nightmare trying to arrange everything. But I think if you're going to build a hub, you have to have it in your head that it's going to be a working pro project all the way through the game. You're going to be at the more because we've taken trains out, we've added trains in. Um, it's just one of those things. It's sort of fluid and adaptive. So if we go down to the hub and we put on lines, you can see all the lines coming in. So you've got two lines here, two lines here, and these coming in here. Then we do a bit of a weird thing at this point, which is a little odd. So none of these trains are going all the way through, right? No, so that's fine. That top bit's fine. Obviously, it would be nice. Oh, there's actually none of these trains going onto these outside platforms. So we don't need to use that bit, but it's there if we need to. It's this bit I'm, I'm confused about. Because this black train here could go all the way through onto these right and wouldn't have to join because sort of these this black and the red is getting confused with these two and i think it's something weird we've done here so <laughs> wait 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 that track there we want that to be able to come onto this track here right because no one's using that crossover anyway so if we, if we just get rid of that a minute and that, that won't make any difference because they're not going anywhere. Okay. We are going to upset some of the trains at this point. So I want to knock you back, you back, you back, and you back, and you back. Yes. I'm going to pretend I know what I'm doing at this point. This may go terribly wrong, but I feel like this is... A good option. So if you come down onto there. 
That's lovely, but that's a really, really, I don't want to get, lose that diagonal across. I like that diagonal. I wish I could just cut out a little bit of that track there, rather than the whole thing. But it's fine if we have to do a weird, the tracks are still work, right? Right, if I go to there then, and then from here to there, that works. Then you, sir, can go on to, ah, uh, see, that's going to do the weird thing again. Which is going to bring you into that one. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So from this one, if you can just follow on to that track to there. I know it gives you some weird oddment, but we'll go with it. There's you. Then you, sir, can come on to this track here. And on to there. And then this one can just flow around here. Like that. And straight away, the red thing's gone. If we go to this now, look. So black and red. Why is black coming in and out on the same one? Not entirely sure. Ultimately, we want this. That's not, a, that is a diamond junction. So if we put a signal there, would that be enough space? Yeah, that should work. If I put a signal there, like so. And then that one's going to come all the way down here. So we'll put a signal here. That should force the black and red to go one way on one, one way on the other. Excellent. We've got this pink line. Where's that pink line coming from? Why is it cutting across everything? Why is it not just coming through here? Hub machines. Okay, so you're coming... Before you get into that, so from there, what if we do and add that? There we go. So they've got a straight in and out. Black and red's got a straight in and out. They're not getting in each other's way. That should definitely improve things. I'm almost 100% that's going to improve things. Why are you waiting there? How does the green come back? Oh, the green's just a single loop. There is a signal here, so why is he not going up to that signal? Oh, he is. There we go. Yes, I think that's going to improve things. See, that's what he did. Look, he cut across all that track where he doesn't need to now. He doesn't need to. He can, but he won't. So that line I wanted to keep, we're not actually using it anymore. But it's nice to have it there just in case we need it. I think that should improve things as well. I do think we should look at adding longer and longer trains. Like, where there's a lot of products waiting. For example, what have you got? 300... Okay, so what have you got running on you? That's Stroud Co. Stroud Co's got... Four trains, 14 apiece. When they get this end, how much space have they got to pull in? Oh, a fair amount, I feel. Yeah, I feel like they've got a fairly good amount. Huh. So, see, they're using an alternative platform. But they have to go through this platform to get to that platform. Which seems a wee bit odd. It's because they're not using this line on the outside. If they were coming up there, they could skip all that. But why aren't they coming up there? Is it because they can't get across? Yep, they definitely can get across. I reckon if we change that then. If we go manage line... We go from there, we're going to add that signal in as a waypoint. So now it should. Oh. No, 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 no. Wait, is that your platform any? Huh. So you're on that platform. And you're not coming through this platform to get to that one anymore, which is nice. Although I feel like that side would be a better one for you. 
So if we go terminals, then we find Stroud code. And we put you on terminal. Wait, 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 wait. No, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that at all. We want to go Stroud code. At the minute, you're on platform eight and your your reserve platform is nine. But why don't we just put that on seven? That seems like that would make a lot more sense to me. Which it does. It makes a lot more sense. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And they're quite long platforms, right? Yeah, they are. They could be longer. Can we add another platform in there? No, we can't. Hmm. Okay. See, that train's too long as it is. That's the issue. Okay, so they might have to stay as they are. But then they should flow in and out a lot better now. He says. He says. So if they go into that one, that's fine. They're going. They're still waiting at the same signal. So you could have flown into that, flowed into that one whilst the other one was there. You could have flowed into this one, but you didn't. Eh, do you know what? It's flowing. It's doing what it should do. We did have a build up up here, which we still do. Like, I was hoping splitting it at that point would help, but it's not really. But it is. You should flow straight through now. Are you going to? No, you're going to stop there. Because there's a train coming the other way. It's all right. It's flowing. We're making money. That's the main thing. The main thing is we're making money. Let's go over here. There we go. So Swindon is now accepting fuel. It's accepting fuel, it's accepting goods, it's accepting bricks, and we're not really supplying any of those things. Okay, why are we not supplying bricks? Let's have a look. So we'll grab one of these. Why are brick? There's no bricks sat here at all, really. There's bricks for... You yeah, see, 37 going to Swindon, but it's not enough. Okay, so let's go all the way over to the bricks. See, I don't want to add more things on if we haven't got what's on there already flowing perfectly. You're just running out of bricks, right? Yes. You've got plenty of stone. You're missing marble. And marble's coming in a new route now, right? Marble's coming in down this line. Have we got a lot of marble sat there how much marbles there 365 okay we've got three trains running it they're making a hell of a <laughs> hell of a lot of money you're on your way back you're on your way back oh we've got some new trains is that our first electric train oh lovely stonehouse is now accepting fuel which is good okay so where are you being held up then Are you coming? Yeah, it is quite busy at this point. You're not being overly held up, right? You're just not the greatest trains in the world. You're going to come down here. You should keep going. Lovely. Then you turn off at that point. Now, this is the prime example of one that we could make a big train right if we go to the brick i'm sure that's quite a long platform right they go into that one which is a little bit um wait let's get rid of that 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 and that and that for now that's gone lovely we're gonna go configure we're gonna go track oh, what's king's cross oh wow loads of buildings no 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 don't don't confuse me standard track we're going to go there, there, and there. Thank you very much. We're going to go platform there, there, and there. Lovely. So that's a really long platform now. So then if we go to the marble, 
We're going to go manage vehicles. We're going to go replace vehicles. Electric, 150. Cost a million pound though. A million pound. Even our biggest steam train doesn't cost that. That one's cheaper than that one. Why is that then? It goes faster, but its tractive effort is less. Do you know what? I don't mind going for the dear ones. I know people say yeah, I shouldn't, but I'm going to. Cargo, we want to do marble. Now I'm not I'm not gonna get confused again. I'm gonna specifically search for marble because some take marble, some don't. He says. Where where's marble? Hello? Am I being blind? Possibly. There it is. Marble. So you can take eight. You can take eight. You can do 50 miles an hour. Okay. So if we go with you and we want probably 26 again, and that should be 26. That's 48 million. Oh, we did 30. Oh, what? <laughs> How was that 30? I counted as I clicked. Okay, those trains might be a little long. But <laughs> possibly. I reckon they'll be okay. Maybe just to make sure. Just to make sure. We'll add another little platform on the end. Oh, it's changed texture as well from what the original one was. Do you know what? That should be fine. That should be plenty fine. So now we've got these huge trains absolute look at that that's going to take so much more it's carrying 128 it could probably almost carry double looking at our train which is amazing still doing a good speed and those are the ideal places we want to do that because that's holding up our brick production we've also got all this coal here who's taking the coal Cheltenham slag is isn't it Right, so there's 400 coal. Let's go to the hub. Have you got... You're doing that line as well, aren't you? You've got quite a short platform, though. Oh, that's a little annoying. Okay, okay, okay. Who's coming in and out of here? That's not Cheltenham Slag, is it? Where's Cheltenham Slag? Here. You do have a fairly... Wait. Ah, you don't have a great long platform. That one's being used by Green and Mint. Huh. Let's see. Can we make that one platform again? Who's coming in there? Mint. Industry is quite a long train as well, right? Yes. It's annoying they have to go through this platform to get to that platform. Could you not just... Cut up there like the oranges? Uh, apparently not. What if? What if we did this then? What if we took a piece of track from there? Oh no, there's a diamond junction there. Why can't they use that? Surely they can use that diamond junction. So if I come up to here. I can't see what's going on. Can we get the smoke out of your face, please? Yeah, if you... Oh no, because there's no way across there, is there? That's why. Hmm. That's an issue. You're coming. Oh, I see the mints both coming up there, but the other one's not. I'm actually tempted to go to here. We're going to go terminals. We want terminal nine. Who's on terminal nine? Oh, wait. I have to pause to do this. Terminal nine got Stonehouse Coal. So, can we move you to seven? 
Yes. Okay. Now I need to find Stonehouse Coal. Clearly you've got a reserve platform, right? At the hub. Platform 9 is your reserve. So what if we put you on platform 8 as well then? I feel like that would work. Yes, okay. Oh, I've gone somewhere. Let's go back to the hub. So that should clear up that. Industry can share this. I think we make this one big platform. I feel like that's the way to go. So, uh, if we get rid of that and that, and then we're going to go configure, <laughs> configure, track, there and there. That makes that one platform again, right? Yes. Where's my yellow gone? Uh, what train's that? Wait, why are you confused? I haven't changed you. There you go, you're fine. Um, we're going to go to the hub. We want to do... It was yellow, wasn't it? Slag, where's... That was back up here. Slag? Nope, not that one. Wrong one. Terminals. Slag. I want you on Terminal 9. Uh, yeah, Terminal 9. So you're going to come in there. Is the mint one coming this side as well? Wait, I need to... Industry... What have you got? Terminal 10. Oh, yeah, because it's messed up. So you don't have a reserve terminal. That's fine. So Because there's only the two of you coming into here. So that means we can then go to Cheltenham Slag. We can go manage vehicles. Um, I'm going to replace all of them. How far are they going? They go around here. Up here, all the way down here. Oh, they do have quite a route. Do you know what? We'll, we'll do the four, and if we have to get rid of one, we will. Um, steam. Oh, yeah. That's uh, all. Thank you. Uh, that one, wasn't it, we were using? The devil one, but the slower one. I'm happy with that. We're going to go bang. We're going to go cargo. We want to do slag and coal, which is you, if I'm correct. Uh, that's slag. That's coal. Lovely. We currently got 14, so we want, again, easily 30. So I've gone for 28, which doubles their capacity, which is fine by me. 28, they can pick up, because I don't think there's that much slag here, right? No, because this isn't working because it's got no coal. If we click, oh, it's got loads of coal. It is working. You're just display though, aren't you? Because it was doing really random things where it would give all the coal to one and all the iron to the other, which is really, really, really annoying. And I can't even remember how I did that now. <laughs> Industry production, auto upgrade, input on. Let's set it back up. Let's see what it does. Maybe if we're getting more product coming, it will keep them both going. Because I would like them both to be going. Why is no one moving over here? Oh, you're just loading up. Okay, fair enough. Which were you? Who are you? Industry T1. Yeah, because... See, you're going out with no bricks because we're just not producing the quantity of bricks we need. Because if we go to the brick factory, it's one of the modded ones. So, to make a brick, you either need one slag, one sand, one marble and one stone. So you can't just use stone. Um, but they do produce two bricks. And currently it's got a bit of stone. Oh, it's got loads of stone, but it can't do anything with the stone without the marble. So it's a bit like, ah, I like it. It adds more of a challenge. You don't just have to pile stone into it. So 
So you're our slag train. You should be... Oh, you picked up all the coal. All the coal has been picked up from there. No, there's three. Oh, maybe I upgraded you afterwards. You're just sat in a queue now. Why are you queuing? I don't know. Has something broken? Possibly because I've made them longer. You're going to want to go off somewhere, are you? Wait, wait, wait. That one's coming up here. Yeah, I don't know then. I don't know why. Ah, oh, is it because? Wait, are you waiting? No. Ah, oh, yeah, I think it's because this train stuck over the bit. So if we do this, we put. See, this is like this has been running for ages, and it just decides that's an issue because you want to go across there, do you? Yes, you do. And he was blocking it. So you should be able to go now. Hello? Oh, took you a while. You had to think about it. There we go. And that'll make everything else move. Because that's literally holding all... That one tiny issue is holding up the whole system. That's how fragile the system is that we've built. It all relies on that one thing working well. What are you waiting for? Is there a train in there? No, I don't think so. And there is a signal there. So why can't you come up to that signal? Are you broken? Is it because I updated you? I think it might be. They're off. They're moving. Ugh. There we go. Things are flowing again. See, this is what happens when you mess around with things. It goes, ah, you know that delicate balance you found? No, 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 no. What's going on down here? Oh, we definitely got a lot of stuff piling up here for Industry 3. Which has now got a massive platform. And you've got a big old route, right? Yeah, maybe we need to... Maybe we need to add more containers onto you. Because you're coming down here, up here, all the way to here. You're not stopping there. You're going straight through. Then we're coming round here. Into this platform where I think you're picking up food. And then you carry on. It might be worth. It might be worth. Upgrading those trains. Oh, that's the wrong one. No. Industry. That's the one I want, isn't it? Yes. Manage line. Because that will just show me that line, right? No. How do I just show that line? Ah. Yeah, so that's the one we want. We're going to go manage vehicles. What have they got? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 18. 18. That's not a lot. I reckon we can change that. I reckon we can upgrade these. We'll upgrade them. We're going to put that one on because I do like that train. No, not that one. That's the wrong one, isn't it? That's the one we want. The dearer one, but the stronger one. Oh, we've got a plane and a bus. We haven't even... We've never... Like, I'm avoiding road vehicles on this playthrough. If you're watching this for the first time, like some of these lines probably would be better with vehicles. But yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> it might do once the cities get too big and we have to sort of supply the outer limits of the city but at the minute i think we're okay so we're going to add you we're going to go cargo and we want you to carry all sorts of stuff right so we'll go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That is a big train. <laughs> That's a massive train. Wait, I need to find one of these now. Let's have a look at it. Oh, it looks amazing. I love the mixed trains. I really, really do. So they should definitely pick up more items now, which is amazing. I think we've confused him because we've made him bigger. 
You're supposed... Which way are you supposed to be going? That way, apparently. I don't know why you changed direction then. But we're off. We're off and looking amazing. I love it. Okay, so... Just warning you, in future episodes, we may come across issues because we've made these trains bigger. For example, here is a prime example. It's now stuck across the line. No one's going to be able to move. Oh, wait. We're all good. Because the train in front of it moved, it can get through. But yeah, things like that, they're going to sort of cause hiccups every now and again. But I definitely think it's a step forward making these trains a lot bigger because they need to be. They just need to be bigger trains. We need to move more resources. And I think that's quite a good episode today. I think we've done a lot that... Not visually a lot. We haven't built a lot. But we have done a lot that's going to affect how well our resources are moved and produced. And we'll, we'll do more of that going forward. If you've enjoyed this episode, hit that like button. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe. It does help the channel. And until next time... I'll see you again.